Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Honorable Prime Minister of Poland, Honorable Prime Minister of Sweden, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum. Pakistan is deeply concerned by the initiation and continuation of war in Ukraine. We are grieved by reports of large civilian casualties, massive outflow of refugees, and internal displacement of people in Ukraine, and reports of violations of international humanitarian law. The international community must respond to this humanitarian crisis with empathy and generosity. We support the several national and collective efforts underway to respond to this humanitarian crisis and the needs of the affected people. In response to the appeals of the UN and other humanitarian organizations, Pakistan had earlier sent over 15 tons of humanitarian assistance for the people of Ukraine, including emergency medicine and food items. We are in the process of dispatching another consignment of humanitarian supplies to the Ukrainian people. The Ukraine conflict has far-reaching implications for international security and world economy. With the developing countries hardest hit by the disruption in supply chains and the food and energy crisis. Pakistan trusts that this would also be addressed with equal political concern, commitment and generosity. Pakistan continues to call for diplomacy and dialogue for an early negotiated end to the Ukraine conflict. Immediate cessation of hostilities is a must to prevent further loss of life and to ease the humanitarian situation. We reaffirm unequivocal support for the universal and consistent application of fundamental principles of the UN Charter, including self-determination of peoples, non-use or threat of use of force, respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity of states, specific settlement of disputes and the equal security for all, in order to ensure dress, durable peace, security and stability for all of humanity. I thank you all for your time.